Dad, how to worship God if someone has fear? War, virus, where is God? I think so this time is the most special and focused questions about many people's life. How to worship God if uh, somebody have fear. And we can also hear a lot of messages about war in Europe, especially now. And here in Hong Kong, the virus. So where is God? You know, there is always the most wonderful things for the Bible and the Word of God is always give for us an answer. But it's like just an instruction book. Instruction books. Many, many, many instructions. So today, let's just read the Bible. We can start from 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7. Most of the time I read from the NIV version. So you can be so simple with, as you believe God. Share all your problem. Share your anxiety. Share your fear. Share your pain. Put on the cross. Put in death all things what is moving in your mind. Now, I emphasize not in your heart or uh, maybe let be more specific, in, not in your spirit. For Romans chapter 8 verse 15 says, the spirit you received does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you receive proves about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. So you're not slaves anymore of fear as before salvation. You're born again. Your spirit rejoices with the Holy Spirit for you God's children. So therefore you can be so confident for the first things what you need to do is just cast all your anxiety on him. Jesus, because he cares for you. Put to death all the pain. And you must know for spiritual, you absolute one with God. Even you don't feel in your soul. Even you may have so a lot of things in your mind. Therefore, need to say, speak to the mountain. The mountain's problems. Put on the cross of Jesus Christ. Like Hebrew letter chapter 12 and verse 2 says, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer, and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning 
its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So fixing our eyes on Jesus, cast all your anxiety on Him. You must know for you not slaves anymore for fear. Fixing your eyes always on Jesus. And then you do the the cross is start working for it's ready and amen for this is what Jesus did you more than two thousand years ago. When you put all your pain or all your diseases, problems to the cross, you cast all your anxiety. And when you do the resurrected also in your life, in God's love. For the Bible says also, they are so wonderful we have Bible. First John chapter 4 and verse 18 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. So I'd like to encourage them where you have trouble with your friend when seeing for now this month Mama just received a half salary. When have a lot of questions about what's happening in the world. The virus look down the city some way. Your parents buying food, storage for a few days under this very special lockdown time. Testing about do we have virus or not. And hearing the many news about the Europe, the crisis, the war between Ukraine and Russia. So all the things are trying your mind, messing up. Just put and cast all your anxiety on Him, Jesus. For your little things, it's a big thing for God. Of course, for Him it's very small to do, for He did it already on the cross. But we must do in our part. Not calling up to our friends. It's not wrong for we can have prayer request. I also receive many Pray your breakfast. And time to time I also even give some word of encouragement, prophetic words. And praise the Lord what is come from above. It's make the light in the darkness. This is a good time to serve and bring in the light and bring the word of God to people's life. So you also know, maybe sometimes you feel for call somebody, or you who listen to this podcasting. Maybe the Lord give you your heart. Don't allow to abort, abort from your heart to call somebody, or just bring some food to others. I received fru- food from my very good friend. On the street, just suddenly we meet. I, I left already the place when I leave and just met on the on the street and I asked, Oh, hi, hello. And I said, Oh, I just come into you. And it was full of food. And I am also very happy 
for now I have also possible to go and buy food as I get it also the QR code. I get the exemption letter from the hospital, so I don't need vaccination. And I have the QR code. I can go in. And yesterday, I, wow, I eat my food. There was festival with Jesus. So therefore, I'd like to encourage you for the Revelation book, chapter 15 and verse 4. Who will not fear you, Lord, and bring glory to your name. I read one more. Who will not fear you, Lord, and bring glory to your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you. For your righteous acts have been revealed. So they will fear God. And this is bringing the worship. It's possible to whatever happening, any circumstances, when you cast all your anxiety to Him, to Jesus, you can experience a new fear, the fear of the Lord. And this is bring worship. So let's worship God. Thanks for watching the Leslie King's podcast. I really appreciate you. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. And if you do, there are royalty budgets and other perks, depending on your level of membership. All you need to do is click the join button underneath the video to find out. Thank you for your support.